everyone, my name's Ed Darvis. This is 92 Drive. Today, we're driving 2019 S560E with EQ power from a 3.0 twin turbocharged intercool double head cam 24 valves producing 469 horsepower and 516 pounds of torque. For a car that weighs about 5,000 pounds and it'll get it from 0 to 60 in just 4.7 seconds. So with that being said, let's get this S560E EQ power on the road and see what she's all about. All right, here we go. We're driving the S560E EcoBoost. Mercedes claims that this car can run just on electric power up to about 30 miles and up to 80 miles an hour. After 80 miles an hour, the combustion engine does kick in and it goes from there, but uh, just driving it like this smoothly, it is so quiet in here. The steering is so light when you're just in a parking lot and even here just cruising around, super light, super quiet, like I just mentioned. And you know, this when this car came out in 2019, it was considered one of the best luxury plug-in hybrids at the time. Obviously they also had the uh, combustion engines, the AMG versions, the V12 engines, and you know, quality-wise, this is really high end up there since it's like an S-Class. But with that being said, it does lack all the other huge comforts that all the other big brothers do, uh, do have. So it lacks a little bit in there. So let's just take it down uh, or, or do a little test that we usually do. We're not going to go through the uh, do the Kirby Road or Twisty Road just because you know this car is just not meant for it at all. So. It, it, and we've driven the other S classes that have handled much better. This car will not handle well at all. Though I'm, I know there'll be a lot of body roll, especially with that battery pack that is in the back. And talking about that battery pack, yeah, the the trunk compartment has about 16 cubic feet without that battery pack. But with the battery pack, it does take a lot of space, so you can't really carry that much huge luggage. So let's get down there and see what she's like. All right, here we go for the marbles. Throttle down. It took it a slight second there to grip because you gotta remember this is not formatic, so it's all the power's going to the back, so it did spin a little bit. All right. You could feel that massive weight of this car. You know, that 5,000 pounds, you could feel it. And I'm sure a lot of it has to do with that battery that's all the way in the back, giving the extra weight. And the combined fuel economy, it's 28 City 25 Highway 32. And combined with the electric and combustion engine, you're getting about 65 miles to the gallon. So it's not, not bad at all. But really what this car just shines, as we just saw the Zero X60, this yeah, it's not a fast lightning car, but this is where it's just shining, you know. It's just cruising, wasping down the road. So let's take it farther down, then we'll bring it back and we'll do our final thoughts. All right, here we go, heading off, and we'll go around this little bends here. Let's see. I mean, it holds up pretty well. It boogies pretty well here in the roads. I mean, obviously it's not a twisty road, so. But it just wafts down the road easily. There's no feedback coming from the steering wheel really at all. Slight hint, but that's not what this car is all really meant to be. It's just to do exactly this. Just calm, relaxed, take a long trip. You'll get there with no fatigue. All the materials are really high end, and it should be because it's an S class, and you can't have cheap materials in an S class, that's for sure. But you know, sound system is good, the materials, like I mentioned, is good. I, it's just you're just wasping down the road without any effort, it's quiet in here. You have all the shades in the back for your passengers. And like I mentioned earlier, yeah, there's not a lot of luggage room, so uh, you'd have to pack accordingly. 
All right, we got some more shenanigans going on here. As we usually we find out, we end up with some knuckleheads. All right, well, now we got passed through that. We'll head out here the parkway and then we'll do see how the transitions. Yeah, body roll. Yeah, of course you expect that, but it's not terribly, terribly bad. But it just soaks up the bumps so smoothly. Go around the turn. No drama. Well, obviously it's not a sports car. It's not an AMG, and it's not meant to be. There you can feel it with the body roll. We're gonna come up to that big bump in just a minute, right about here, and see how that feels. Nothing. Like there's nothing. Yeah, that's the beauty of this car. So, thank you so much for watching. This was just a short. Just uh, I know that we've done a lot of videos, other videos on the S class. So I'll put those links on the video down below. But I just wanted to give you, like I said, a quick take on this EQ Power S class. I hope everybody's had a fantastic day. I hope I had a great Easter. We were. Uh, we headed down to Charlton, South Carolina. So, good time. So, I, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting to do? Subscribe. Thumbs up if you like this video. Do comment. It always do, does help. And turn that notification bell on. Ding! So that way you know when the next video is coming up. Do follow my friend JT at JT.Benz where he posts cool videos and pictures of other Mercedes-Benz around the world. And do follow me at Ed on the score Derbis as well where I post pictures before the cars go live. On And if you have a cool car you want me to drive, do send me an email at 9and3driving at gmail.com. And until next time, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.